Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and today I'm going to show you how to unlock an Android and an iPhone at the same time. This is a Samsung Galaxy S10e and this is the iPhone XS. They are both locked to AT&T. First of all, let's see what happens when you have a locked phone and you want to put a SIM card from another carrier, right? So we're going to try with this. This time we're going to use Google Fi. Google Fi. Okay, you're going to put it like that and you're going to put it here, right? Right there. So let's see what happens. Immediately, enter network and lock code. Your phone isn't allowed to use this SIM card. So on this one, what you can do is you can just dismiss, not now, and that's it, right? You dismiss it. Let me see what happens if I take it out and put it again. Hold on. Okay, let's put it back. And enter network and lock code, okay? The same thing. So we have that message. Now let's try with the same SIM card. Let's try it on the iPhone, okay? What is the message I get on the iPhone when I try to put a SIM card from another carrier, all right? Let's put it right here, okay? Let's see. Activation required. Dismiss, continue. It might take a few minutes to activate your iPhone and SIM not support it. SIM not supported. The SIM that you currently have installed in this iPhone is from a carrier that is not supported under the activation policy that is currently assigned by the activation server. This is not a hardware issue with the iPhone. Please install another SIM from a supported carrier or request that this phone be unlocked by your carrier. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to request that this phone be unlocked by our carrier. If we want to continue using the iPhone, we need to take out the SIM card. I want to show you that other than that message, if you go to settings, general, about, you will see also here carrier lock, SIM lock. This device might be restricted to the original carrier and or have certain capabilities limited. Contact your provider for more info. Now, we don't have a message like this on the Android. We only have that message you saw, the network lock or something like that, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to try to unlock the Android first. Let's try to unlock the Android first. Okay, so we're going to open a browser and you're going to look for AT&T unlock. AT&T unlock. And the first result is what we're looking for. AT&T.com device unlock. Click there. I'm going to put a link on the description also. And it says here, you must have zero balance on your device installment plan to request an unlock. So make sure that you have zero balance. Okay. Device unlock request, start an unlock request. Do you have a mobile number from AT&T? I don't. Now it's asking me for the IMEI. The IMEI I can find it by opening the phone app and dialing star pound 06 pound. That's going to give me the IMEI. But this IMEI you cannot copy. All right. The best way to do it is you're going to go to settings about the phone. And here's the IMEI. Click and it's already copied to the clipboard. Now go back to the website and you can click and paste it. The website immediately recognizes the device as the SMG970U, which is the Samsung Galaxy S10e. Click here on I read the legal info and we're gonna click next. Okay, it's allowing me to put my information. This is a good sign because sometimes the portal will tell you that we cannot unlock the phone right away. Alex Uniga, mobile number, don't even click on it. Email address, put your email. And here I'm just gonna repeat it. So now I'm gonna click submit. Thanks, we got your request, it says. Now we're gonna log into our email, AT&T order status. Look, it's 8.57 a.m. This was at 8.56, so one minute ago, we got this email. Heads up, you have 24 hours to confirm your unlock request. What you need to do is you need to click on this link and look at this, thanks for confirming. So the first step is done. Now you're gonna go back and this time you're gonna click this. Look, check the status, check the status, click there. And look at this, current status pending. That means that AT&T accepted my request and is working on it. We don't know if they're gonna prove it or not. We're gonna check that in a couple of minutes. You know, it takes a couple of minutes. Go back to that email and you're gonna click check the status again. Remember, everything happens on the server. So there's no human approving or denying your request. Everything is automatic. It goes to the servers, it checks the status of your device and it will tell you if it's possible to unlock it or not. And you will know the reason also. Check the status. Approve. Current status approved. We approved your request to unlock your device. Also, this is on the website, right? But you will also get an email. Okay, let's check the email. 857, you know, 858. So one minute ago, heads up, we approved your unlock request. And what you need to do is you just need to uh, put a SIM card from another carrier. The Google Fi. And that's it, boom, right there. So let's see what happened. 
enter network unlock code and this is what we need to enter this code now before entering this code guys i'm gonna put something randomly just for you to see what happened when you put a code that is not correct all right i just put some bullshit and now i'm gonna click unlock verify network unlock code incorrect network unlock code enter it doesn't give me a number but chances are if you enter an invalid code 10 times your phone is going to be hard lock hard lock means that it's always going to be locked to the network so please do not play around with codes that you don't know just enter the code that at&t send you all right of your carrier send you try not to make a mistake all right so zero four zero eight one three eight zero three eight zero two eight one forty one forty one five okay so i entered the correct code click unlock verifying network unlock code network unlock that's it sim card change restart your phone to start using your new sim card restart and we're gonna see if we can get the google fi network so this logo is always gonna be there unfortunately searching for service google fi actually if we dial 611 google fi should pick up let's hear it Welcome to Google Fi Wireless. Let me get you over to an expert who can help you from here. And that's After it, guys. Conversation, you'll have a chance to take a quick survey about the service viewers. That confirms that this Samsung Galaxy S10e is unlocked and you can use it in any carrier, right? Okay, so let me take this SIM card out. Let's try to unlock the iPhone, guys, because this is what people are looking for, you know, the iPhone, the iPhone. All right. Let's start copying the IMEI. Settings, general, about... IMEI, look, carry lock, SIM lock. Okay, so, you know, we have two IMEIs. One is the physical IMEI and the other one is the eSIM. Okay, so we're going to get the physical first. Open Safari. We're going to clear the cache. Clear history and website data. All history, close tabs, clear history. And we're going to move this to the top. Okay. Okay, it looks better. AT&T, we're going to search on Google for AT&T unlock. You can even see here, guys, the suggestion from Google is correct. We want to go to this website, att.com forward slash device unlock. I'm going to put a link on the description so you don't have to type it. You must have zero balance on your device installment plan to request an unlock. We're going to close this and we're going to start an unlock request. Do you have a mobile number from at and I don't. IMEI number. We already copied, so we just have to click and paste. The portal immediately recognizes the device as the iPhone XS81920. That's the model. And then click on I read the legal info and wait for the next button. Click next. So it's allowing me to put my information. Alex Zuniga, mobile number. Don't even click on it. Email address. We're going to put the same email. Let's see if we are lucky because we already unlocked the other one. Okay, so click submit. Let's see if we get lucky, guys. Thanks, we got your request. Okay, so now we're gonna go and sign into our Gmail account. It's 12.06 and at 12.05, we got the message from AT&T. Click on it. Heads up, you have 24 hours to confirm your unlock request. You need to click here and confirm your request. Click there. Thanks for confirming, okay? So that's a good step. Now we're gonna go back to our email. We're gonna click on check the status. Cross the fingers. Boom, pending. Okay, this is good because this means that uh, they are working on it, you know? They are checking everything. Again, this is done by the server. There's no human interaction on this. This is from a computer to a computer. They just check your MEI. They check any balances, any payments that you miss. If your phone is blacklisted, whatever. And then Apple is going to give you the thumbs up or the thumbs down, okay? All right, so let's go back to the email. And then we're going to click on check the status again. Cross your fingers, guys. Let's see if we are lucky. Boom, deny. Current status, deny. We can unlock your device because there's an unpaid balance linked to it. And this is the reason. They're always going to give you a reason, right? We can unlock your device because there's an unpaid balance linked to it. You can submit a new request after the balance is paid in full. So we need to pay the balance in full and then submit the request again. The only problem is that we don't have access to the account. In order to pay the balance in full, you need to contact AT&T to see if you can do it. But usually, only if you have access to the original account, you can pay the balance. If not, I don't think you can, guys. 
The other thing you can do with this phone is you can use it on any company using the AT&T towers. For example, Cricket, H2O, Consumer, Cellular. There's a lot of companies using the AT&T towers, so you can use it with them, all right? Unfortunately, we couldn't unlock the iPhone, but we did unlock the Android device, okay, guys? So what some people do is they try it with the eSIM, okay? But... Uh, I'm sure they're going to deny it, but I will try it later, maybe in another video. But thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing to my channel. That's the best way you can support my channel so I can continue doing videos for you guys. I really don't know what happened with Google, but my income decreased a lot. So please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Take care. Bye.